It's almost time for leaf again and again. Uh, time when all the leaves in the world seem to fall on Olympia, Washington. I got my Harbor Freight trailer here. I've got some things that I've got here for upgrades. I bought some of these bearing protectors because I lost one of the caps and I thought these seem like a much better solution than that little cap on there because uh, it's going to fall off. I'm going to rewire the trailer. I got this LED kit. Not that there's a problem with the wiring. They said there might be, but I don't see one with it, so I'm going to do it anyway. Another thing I'm going to do is these stupid clips. I don't like these. These things are sharp and they'll cut you and they're rusty. So you can get tetanus, lockjaw, something like that. So if you see a guy with one of these trailers and he just grunts at you and can't talk, it's because he got lockjaw off those. So I'm going to drill those out and reattach the new wires with wire ties. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I'm going to take off all this wood and paint it, kind of clean it up. And another problem we ran into with the sides is that they don't have any handles on them, so we're going to cut some holes into them and make them a little bit easier to handle. Uh, I've got a batch of eye bolts here that I'm going to put on to help hold the uh, bungee straps down, so hopefully this year Leaf Again comes off without a hitch. So on a Chinese trailer, this is how your wires are held down with these little clips here. They're made out of spring steel. They're sharp as stink. They have a lot of rust on them. And I think they're probably one of the leading causes of tetanus in the state of Tennessee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off and drill some holes, put wire ties in, and try and bring down the incident rate of tetanus on the west coast. So we got the holes for the wire ties drilled. Now I've got to deal with some corrosion spots where the paint just sort of came loose. So this is the bracket that came with the trailer lighting kit. As you can see, it's really crappy plastic. It's, it's super floppy. I think once it gets out in the sun for a while, it's probably gonna be brittle and fall off. So I'm gonna throw it right in the bin. One of the things I should have done with the trailer when I first put it together was I should have put some tie down points on it for the bungee cords, you know, we bungee down a tarp. I got some quarter inch eye bolts with some washers and nuts. Um, we're just going to bolt those onto the frame and I think that'll work great for holding down the tarp. You could probably go up to three eighths of an inch but you'd have to go with a much bigger washer like maybe a fender washer keep it from torquing that frame pretty hard. I'm not tying down a motorcycle, I'm just tying down tarp so I don't blow leaves all over and get somebody hurt on the highway.
So I was feeling pretty good yesterday about the trailer, thinking, man, I got a lot of this done. Uh, until I came over here to the workbench and I noticed that I have a bunch of quarter inch eye bolts. I need to drill holes for the eye bolts and uh, countersink those and then get the uh, paint on those before I can put these on. So all the paint I did yesterday, while it's great, I, I'm going to have to go back and redo some of the areas that I did. Sometimes you just seems like you outsmart yourself. All right, I got these things started. There are so dang many bolts on this, but I don't want it to come off when I'm moving it around, you know. So. Just so darn many bolt holes. These down here on the bottom, I'm probably going to have to lower the platform uh, on my sawhorse. I just got it sitting on a sawhorse. But I'll probably have to lower it down further. Yeah, to get get inside there and get those bolts down in. And maybe to get that bottom row. Yeehaw. Wow, that looks pretty good. Nancy did a good job painting the decking for the trailer now that we've got it back on. The trailer's almost ready to go for leaf again. So here are the sideboards. I don't like the way that they are, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to round off the edges, put some hand holes in them so you can pull them out. We're going to paint them so they look really nice, and I'm going to put a center mark on the front piece so that I can see it in the backup camera out of the truck. You can see instantly if you're off center or which direction you're going, because you can't always tell with the backup camera. So we painted all the different pieces. I mean, you can see we've got <laughs> parts of the trailer are just scattered around the shop, as is cardboard and stuff. I've got a rear view camera, but all it shows me is the front stake board right here and the tongue of the trailer. So what I'm thinking is if I paint a black one inch stripe on here, I should be able to know where the center of the trailer is. And if it starts moving off the center mark of my uh, backup bait or whatever you call it, where it shows where your hitch is, if it's too much off of that dotted line, I'll be able to know right away that I'm going a little bit crooked and I can straighten out. Because with the fisheye lens on that rear view camera, it's just terrible. You can't, can't really tell because everything's all squashed out. So I'm going to paint this and I think this is going to be a really good uh, deal for the truck and it's going to make the trailer a whole lot easier to use. Yeehaw, it's uh, back together and put back on the truck. You know, another cool thing I hadn't even really thought about when I put these hand holes in is uh, they're a really great place for putting my bungee cords while I'm getting ready to tarp up. So I can kind of straighten them out, have them ready there whenever we're ready to go. So there she is, ready to go for another load in the morning. Uh, not a whole lot I can do with her tonight. The place I take my leaves to be composted is closed. But you can see that the trailer with the paint on it, the wood looks better. It looks like it's going to be good for a couple more seasons. It's still crappy plywood and 2 by 4 so, you know, I guess beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But it's working.